and anything that Stanley has touched over the years, it becomes iconic. Will people be able to feel as with this film? Um, there's definitely, I mean, it's from his, this is all part of that Marvel Cinematic Universe. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, this was, I think we did this right before he passed away. Um, and uh, so I don't know if he's if he had seen this or was even aware, but hopefully this kind of f***ing well to the, to the to what he's kind of created, what he started. Right. Okay, so Fred, I understand that you were by a Deadpool, a.k.a. Ryan Reynolds, a.k.a. Merc with a Mouth. Can yes. you describe the events that happened? Yeah, uh, I would love to. Uh, people have not really been giving this the, the, the it's due because this mm -hmm. was uh, a terrible... It's very event. serious. Yeah, I appreciate you asking. I uh, had received a phone call uh, from uh, Ryan Reynolds who said, oh, I have this idea to put together this like you know really beloved uh, kind of uh, really special movie that's come to mean so much to so many people over mm -hmm. the years. Uh, and I want to combine it with this... I don't know, this that he does, and I want to do it together. And I was like, oh, I don't know if that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Next thing I know, in a bed, duct taped uh, with Deadpool. Wow. Um, and not great, not great. I mean, it doesn't sound that bad to me, but the <laughs> the <laughs> does look quite intense. Yeah, it doesn't sound, it was terrible. I, I mean, I have a family. You're abducted, you're taken against your will, you're strapped to a bed, and you're, they, they say, oh, read these words on this page, we'll let you go. I mean, I don't know, that doesn't sound great to me. That sounds not bad? Uh, well, because I understand that you were possibly blackmailed, possible extortion because it was for a good It, You know, in hindsight, thank you. When I was doing it, I did not realize, I mean, it was terrible. Mm -hmm. But now in hindsight, they've done this thing where every, a dollar for every ticket that they sell to Once Upon a Deadpool goes to uh, what they're renaming cancer, right. um, which is an incredible, uh, Cancer Research Foundation, and um, that that is good. So yes, in retrospect, it was it, it, it was a positive experience. But when you're in it, it's very you know traumatizing for sure. It's not great. It's not great. But the fans will appreciate it, especially. I know you have been able to take them to see a Deadpool film that is actually kind of friendly. It is kind of <laughs> friendly, absolutely. You no, know, you don't have to sneak your under your coat anymore and like you know suffer the judging eyes of everyone in the theater uh you can take your to this my have seen it um and uh they they love it so you know uh it's definitely a thing that uh, can, you can enjoy with your for sure and anything that stanley has touched over the years it becomes iconic will people be able to feel as with this film um there's definitely i mean it's from his, this is all part of that Marvel Cinematic Universe. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, this was, I think we did this right before he passed away. Um, and uh, so I don't know if he's, if he had seen this or was even aware, but hopefully this kind of f***ing well to the, to the, to what he's kind of created, what he started. Right, I mean, he's an icon, but you've also had a lot of iconic roles from Wonder Years to Princess Bride, which is referenced in this film. But I wanna know, what is one thing you would have told your younger self back in those Wonder Years, Princess Bride days, as to how to prepare for where you are now? Uh, don't take Ryan Reynolds' phone calls. <laughs> just avoid them. Ryan, Ryan just yeah. anything Reynolds. That's why, the, that's why the decline is there. That's why that button was invented. I, you should have, if only you could go back in time and tell you tell yourself that now. Well, that was the whole premise of the question. That's why I'm thinking about it all the time. <laughs> okay, so before I let you go, what is a way that you celebrate the holidays with and your family? Um, we have a lot of holiday traditions, my, my family and I. Uh, a lot of based traditions, a lot of music traditions. Uh, we go see the Nutcracker every year. We love the nut, big Nutcracker fan. Um, and so uh, we have you know, lots of... Uh, Lots of family family traditions um, that are starting now. So uh, it's uh, it's we love we love this time of year, and um, uh, we it's a uh, it's a great time for all of us. Okay, so I will make sure that when I go back to the precinct, I will report all of the details of your <laughs> and make sure that you can make. Well, it, it happened. Family. They're so brazen. Like they made a movie about it. You know, like it's not like it's not like oh no one knows about it. Oh, so this is a documentary. The, this is a they're very they don't care. So, you know, and I just feel like he just gets away with murder, that guy, and no one holds him to account. And here I am, it's like, oh, isn't this great? And you're like, oh, it doesn't sound bad, which I think, I don't buy that for a second. <laughs> uh, but as you said, this is a very nice thing for fudge cancer. So mm -hmm. I do encourage everyone 
uh, to uh, get a ticket, take your kids, even if you've seen Deadpool 2, uh, there's all new footage that's not just related to my abduction. Right. Um, and uh, and I, think they, I think it would be a nice, uh, could be a great holiday tradition. Could be the new savage holiday tradition. New savage holiday tradition, kidnappings. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> well, thanks so much for talking to us. Pleasure, thank you. <laughs>